Hi guys, so for this week's vlog, um, somebody asked me to talk about the differences between um, theatre in London and theatre in Paris. Uh, for those of you that may not know, um, I moved to Paris a few months ago and I've been seeing um, a few shows out here. And so I'm going to give you the top five differences between uh, theatre in London versus theatre in Paris. Number one difference between uh, Paris and London theatre is that in Paris, nothing starts on time. Um, if the show is set to start at 8pm, which most of them do, um, you can usually be sat there until 20, 25 past 8. No one's in a rush, really. You know, it's, it's Paris, you're on Paris time, which is um, always 10 minutes behind everyone else. Um, everyone's just having a lovely time here. They just, you know, they're going out for dinner, they're having a glass of wine, they're just not rushing to get to the theatre. Um, and so you find you do sit there for a while, whereas in London, the show is on at 7.30. By 7.31, the lights are off, and you are not going in and going to your seat until the end of that first song or the first uh, suitable moment in the show. It's very, very different in Paris. Um, they just make sure everyone's in before they start. They just start whenever they're ready. Number two, difference between uh, Paris and London theatre is an obvious one, um, but Paris theatre is sometimes uh, all in French, sometimes it's all in English, and sometimes it's a weird mixture of the two. So in musicals like um, Grease, for instance, um, the dialogue was all in French, and the songs were half in French and half in English. So all of the... Um, all of the key words that people know that have made the songs famous, like uh, Tell Me More, Tell Me More and Summer Loving, it's like any iconic moments from songs they would sing in English, but then they would revert back to French, which is really difficult to get your head around when I don't speak very good French at the moment and learning, um, but trying to flip between languages is really, really difficult. Um, so you have to be aware of what you're going to see. Some things are completely translated. Hairspray was completely in French. Uh, they translated everything. The Adams Family was completely in French, um, whereas other things are different. So always double check uh, what the language is going to be if you see theatre in Paris. Number three difference uh, between Paris and London theatre is the quality of the productions. Um, Paris is really below par in terms of quality. Maybe we're just spoiled in London and New York with theatre, but a lot of the time you feel like they're putting on a half-hearted attempt at the show. Kind of the choreography just looks like they're going through the motions. Doesn't really look like anyone's living their best life um, in the show. That's not always true. Sometimes they are. Um, the sets, you know, they all look flimsy and cheap. It all looks quite amdram, even if they're professional productions that are touring the world. It all just looks a bit cheap. I do wonder if these are the best performers that Paris has, um, because if not, I think any out-of-work actors struggling in London should do a crash course in learning to speak French and then come over to Paris, because there are a million people in London better than the people getting the starring roles in Paris. Um, which I find bizarre. So you kind of have to go to Paris theatre with the mindset that it's not London and it is more of a a local production scale. Um, and if you can get your head around that, then I guess you can start to enjoy it for what it is. Sometimes I think you'd be better off getting on the Eurostar to London and seeing a matinee there because the quality of the production will be so much better and Theatre's quite expensive here. Well, it's about it's about the same um, as London, but you know you can pay eighty, a hundred euros. It's about the same in pounds um, for a ticket. And if it's not up to a good standard, then you kind of feel like it's a waste of money sometimes. But there is some good stuff to see. The fourth big difference between London theatre and Paris um, is that in Paris, not all theatres, but in some theatres, the um, usher will check your ticket at the door as you go in and then they will take you down to your seat as they do normally um, and then they put their hand out for a tip and you're supposed to tip them. Some of the ushers that work in certain theatres don't get paid. They do their job just for tips. Um, so always have a few euros in your pocket just in case it's a theatre that you need to tip for. 
it's a strange thing to get your head around um, and I'm not too sure of the reasons behind it but always be prepared. And the last thing, number five, that I'm going to tell you about the difference between London and Paris theatre is when it comes to theatre etiquette. I've talked about this on social media. Um, in London, everyone is very, you know, I've paid to see this show and so I want everyone around me to be quiet. I want to sit in silence. I don't want to see anyone on their phone. I don't want to hear anyone eating crisps. And I am completely the same. I'm exactly the same. Um, but in Paris, they just don't seem to... They definitely don't eat. They're very precious about when they eat and the surroundings that they eat in. So I don't think many people would ever um, get out a KFC and start eating it in the middle of a show. I don't think the French would ever do that. And even drinking, they don't really tend to take a drink into the auditorium with them, um, which I find strange because I definitely do. But it's all just a lot more laid back. If someone wants to say something to the person next to them, they do, and no one minds. No one's uptight about it. If someone checks their phone, no one minds. And it just doesn't seem to be a problem, and it doesn't seem to detract from the enjoyment as an audience member. Because I think in London, you see someone get a phone out and you kind of brace yourself. And we've we've trained ourselves to be annoyed when it happens and then it distracts us and we you know we're going oh, put your phone away but the French don't seem to register it as a problem when it happens and so they just they're focused on what they're watching it's a really weird thing to explain um, but the etiquette is very different between Paris and London and it does make you wonder if Maybe London needs to chill out a bit um, and just relax. So that's it. That is my top five differences between Paris and London theatre. Uh, please do let me know in the comments if you have seen any shows in Paris or even Europe as well. I don't know about the rest of Europe and how they work and especially things like etiquette. Um, I would love to know your thoughts on the differences between London and other countries when it comes to theatre. Uh, so please do let me know, give this video a thumbs up, and please do subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing, but it will make me very happy. Um, I will see you next week.